Okay, so a quick video on the screen replacement on a Dell Latitude E7240, it's one of their older silver models, so, yeah, 7240. So first step is to remove the hinge cover, this bit, and that's just four screws, one, two, three, four, it comes off, and obviously the battery, so you want to take the battery out first, and that just slides up and away from over the hinges. And down and open. You see, I've already taken the actual surround off, which is this piece. And the way to do this is quite simply starting with the screwdriver I find in this corner, or and some similar prying tool. Uh, tar plectrums also work well. Is to just get in there, start it off. It's got sort of a sort of semi rubbery edge, so you work underneath that and just work your way along. I find the top bit here is probably the worst, where you've sort of got hit catches on both sides. You have to be gentle. You see, I've actually strained that one a little bit. But it is just a case of working your way along these very small little clips all the way along all four sides. Um, you may be able to do it without taking the hinge cover off. Um, it gives yourself a little bit more room to work, so I always do. So next thing is to undo the screws for the actual screen panel itself. And I think it's just four of them, one, two, three, four. Yep, I can still count. Um, so that gets the actual panel itself loose. So we can see now the screen is loose. And you know, fold it forwards, gently, obviously. And we have the one connector that actually attaches this to uh, anything else, as far as I can tell. I definitely can't see any other cables or connectors, so either that or I've missed it all along. So next thing is to get this connector undone. Okay, so this connector is somewhat difficult to get undone. So that's the actual connector on the screen board, so this bit here is the screen. Um, stuck on top of that was this little blue tab thing that was covering over the connector. And then stuck over the cable connector and the blue thing was this thing. And this was sticky as hell. Uh, I had to get a knife under the edge of it just to start to tease it up. And then a pair of pliers to actually get it to lift. So we then get to the connector coming from the screen. Which is a, a metal bound edge connector of some nature. Not quite seen one before. And that literally just slots in. Just plugs in like any other type of connector. Stop it, focus on my hand. Plugged in like that, and then there's this bar, which is now stuck to the thing, that goes over the top and latches to hold it all into place. So it actually holds the connectors in. So that's the old one out. And there's that bar you can see moving over the top. So we'll take the old screen and, uh, in a carefully and controlled and environmentally friendly way, sling it over our edge. And then we get our replacement screen, which is still. Uh, Beautifully wrapped and packed, having arrived from Dell. New screen out of the bag, popped in place, and it's just going to be a case of trying to slide this connector there back into that socket. Uh, it goes into the front of the socket. Honestly, don't know I'm going to be able to do that with one hand. Probably not. Okay, so we can see it there, it's popped in. You see that gap along there is where the two meet up. Then got that little bar, quite nicely wants to fall into place and just latch it all together. I'm presuming that's just there to stop it working loose. Then the bit of random blue stuff. That again, I presume is just to hold everything together. Goes back on the top like so, and that should stop that bar coming up or anything else. And then. Pull the bit of tape tight again. I'll stick it back on. There we go. Good as new. So, next thing to do is to lift the panel up. Obviously, being markedly more gently now because uh, this is our new panel. Uh, lift it into place. So, to watch out for is you've got the screen protector tab up here. Try not to get it trapped because you're going to be able to get the screen protector off at some point. So, just keep in mind that that's there. So that's the screen in, screws back in. So next thing to do is make sure we've not trapped any cables or anything 
unexpectedly. Make sure we haven't. Check that that's all in there. And uh, you know, I've remembered to put all four screws back in. So the next job is to uh, get the bezel and refit it. Uh, I generally find starting with one of the corners is probably the best because they're the most difficult to get off. Again, remember that tab. You might want to actually take that off now, um, depending on whether you want to try and peel it off from underneath afterwards. Um, depends how fussed you are about leaving a few fingerprints on it and uh, make sure you're not actually going to do anything that could damage the screen itself. Uh, so off that comes in the bin. So bezel back on and like most clip things give it a wiggle and it will eventually just clip back into place. It says there we go clip and just uh, work your way along. Other corner a bit difficult but that's it so go back down the edges. So there we go all back together um, obviously missing the hinge cover still, uh, but screen cover back on. I did find the bottom ones here a little difficult, um, so I actually found holding the laptop like this and then pushing it with my other hand to actually get them to clip in because you've got to push them up a little bit. So that's then back on, close it up, I'll close up on the Dell logo, hinge cover back on. back into place, it's four screws across the top there and then uh, battery in and hope it turns on so moment of truth, push the power button well off to a good start, the screen seems to have lit up so uh, yeah, one nicely working laptop now to give it a bit of a clean up before we go give it back to uh, the user